What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here. Welcome to Horse School. This is one of the latest maps coming out from my one of my favorite studios, Everbloom Games. Uh, this is all about uh, taming and uh, racing as well as customizing horses. It's got a very extensive customization um, uh, thing here actually. It's a I think it said in the description, like, like over like 11 million different unique styles that you can unlock and, and put together. Like, it's ridiculous. So let's get into it. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Welcome to your first day at the horse school. I hope you're as excited to begin as the horses are. Shall we get right to it? Right this way. Everbloom always has good voice acting. All our horses receive the best of care in these stables. They tend to be shy around new students, but with a little care and attention, they'll warm up to you in a jiffy. Here, take this apple and interact with any horse you please, and you'll be fast friends. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <laughs> So they've got custom horse uh, textures, because these are not vanilla. That's cool. Um, let's go with this guy right here. Would you look at that, but I think this one adores you. Treat any horse you meet with snacks like that and a bit of kindness, and they'll be happy to let you ride them too. Okay, hop on your new horse. When you're ready, follow me once more. Onward. I'm not going to name him. I want you guys to name him. Wait, where did did he go out this door? Yeah, I think that's him. Wouldn't be a score without tests, would it? There are two types of testing areas for your horses: the speed test and the jump test. And don't worry, they are tests for your horse, not you. Neither of you will be graded. First, let's ensure you've got top-notch speed. Do you see that straight track ahead? Ride your horse just from the start to the end of the track. Nothing simpler, no? Our next test is just as simple, the jumping test. Trot over to that pole and jump in place to check your horse's jump height. Come see me again when you've finished. Okay, I guess this is to figure out what type of horse you've got, so if you're testing out all the different breeds, that's pretty cool. Perfect, just perfect job, both of you. Now, these tests aren't limited to our school horses, you know. Plenty of wild horses with all sorts of other speeds and jump heights wander the grounds outside school. If any take a liking to you the way this horse did, feel free to test it here and we'd be honored to stay with it too. Anyway, the horse you chose is quite lovely, don't misunderstand me. But perhaps you could do with some flair. Take these accessories to start out. Before I take you on a brief tour, let's head back to where we first met. I refuse to put a bow on him. Or her. I don't know. I can't tell. Think of this space as your horse's dressing room. Guide your horse onto the station and drop those bright new accessories into the chest. Oh. Interesting. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Lo and behold, but your horse looks marvelous now. You won't always have an expert like me around to hand out accessories willy-nilly, however. If you study hard and win school competitions, we'll reward your diligence with even more accessories. 
There are five different racetracks scattered about the school, and a beauty show in the middle. Do ensure you stop by and speak with the contest organizer before the show. I dare say that's all the information I can provide. Enjoy yourself and make our horse school proud. Okay, so if you want to unlock more stuff, let me take this bow off. I'm just gonna say that right now. Uh, <laughs> so if you want to unlock more stuff to decorate your horses with. You have to win races. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go, Ross. Go find where these other races are at. Here's a track. So where some random horses are at, so we can get more. All right, let's go this way then. I want to actually get on the, one of the tracks. My, I want to. Ooh, there's a chest over there. I want to actually race. It says in the description that you can race against NPCs, and I want to do that. What in the world? Brown dye? Okay. <laughs> Wait, wasn't he supposed to give us a tour? Can't talk to him anymore. Well, we can figure it out ourselves. <laughs> point to point race. Is there's five races? That's what I'm curious about. I want to actually get into a race. Let's see what we got. What a pleasure to see our newest student already inspecting our racetracks. I've no doubt you're a natural, but I'm afraid I must explain the rules to you. School policy and all. It's simple. Hop on your horse, ride into one of the free pens on the racing track, and interact whenever you're ready. Once the other pens are full up on students, I'll sound for the start of the race. Is that it? Okay. Ah, so it fills it up with computers. Holy moly. My horse is very slow. So we've got to actually go out there, breed, and find the faster horses. So tame one, bring it back. Let's see what, how this race goes. 
but I like that we can we can actually race without having other people. The race is starting on. soon, and you're chomping at the bit, aren't you? I just want to test them out. I know I'm not going to win. I'm not naming him yet. I'll let you guys do that in the comment sections. Man. <laughs> We're just very slow. Don't worry, buddy. we gotta do so what we're gonna have to do is go out there test uh, tame a couple of horses find the fastest one then breathe them Oop. love the music Hey, it functions well. I mean, it's hard to get race style maps that actually have you racing against NPCs. At least in Minecraft. I'm starting to see it more nowadays, but it, it is something that normally you don't see. They'll have a racetrack, they'll have races, but you have to bring other people in. This one, uh, I believe you can bring people in too. It's a multiplayer map too, but... the other races because it says there's five all together right that was two of them just there hurdle That's three hurdles, point to point. What's that?
Is this leading me somewhere? You earned an assist? Okay. So I guess there's some random little things it's gonna have you do. Cool. So it's worth exploring because you might actually find something. I like that. So yeah, guys, we need to come up with a name for this guy. Yeah, I kind of want to see everything now. Ah! There's another thing. We also need to collect up a bunch of apples since we're going to need to be taming more of them so we can find the fastest horse. Then try racing again. Don't worry, we're not going to get rid of this guy. Yeah, right now I'm just exploring everything. Okay, so this is a race within itself. Interesting. Pretty big race. I do think this would be fun if I brought some people in with me. I don't know. Maybe I'll... I should really start doing some events where I invite subscribers to compete in some of these. This one seems like a really good one. To do a couple different tournaments style things in here for uh, with survive uh, with uh, subscribers. What do you guys think? Why don't you let me know in the comment sections down below? If that's something you guys would want to do. This is a really fun map. accessory see that's cool because now it's important Ooh, I did not see that before there's like a little horse statue in the middle of that track that's pretty cool all right so I need to paste this out our our goal now because I'm back on the track hang on let's go inside head back over this way my goal now is I need to go around, I need to collect some apples, I need to collect up some different horses. See, this is a race. That's four. I think there's one more race, but I'm not quite sure where it is. I found this one. There's three by the school. I think there's one more somewhere. Okay, that's one, two, three, 
There's a hurdles one over there. That's four. All right. Like my goal now is to get some better horses so that I can actually compete in these races and actually have a chance. Not to mention we need to come up with uh, more accessories. Alright then. Alright guys, well, I'm actually going to end the episode here. It's a short episode, but there's things I want to set up. I want to go out there, I want to hunt down apples, and I think that's going to be a little boring. So the next episode, I'll focus more on the different breeds that I found. And we'll actually try to win some actual races. And see how all that goes. But, definitely let me know if you guys are interested in a tournament style thing to do. What I might do is try live streaming a couple different tournaments. Like I said, I've, I've got to work out how I want to do it. Like I decide, uh, there's got to be a way for me to find people who want to take a part of it. And then uh, I'll find different maps like this one that are multiplayer friendly and will set up tournaments. And then I'll, I'll find a prize for each one. But I definitely want to do that for this one for sure. So definitely, if you're interested in that, let us know in the comment section. And then if I get enough people interested, I'll set up a way to actually truly, you know, get, figure out a way to decide who's going to compete in it. Maybe I'll run another thing on one, like on my Instagram or my Twitter, something like that. We'll figure it out. But I, I'll piece all that together once I find out if anyone's actually interested. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. So. If you want to make sure to stay in tune with this map, which is a very nice, beautiful map, we're not done. I'm going to finish exploring everything, going around and doing all the different races and actually winning them, getting all the different horses together. Uh, but I just wanted to get a good, you know, start with that. I do like it. I like how it does. It functions well, which I figured it would because Everbloom does make really good maps that have really high function. Like, you take the simplest pre uh, like premise and turn it into something that actually is complex, which I like. All right, guys. Until next time, Average Arcader out.